Hey, Matt. Hey, Nigel. Why the long face? Why are you upset? I'm just sad because I shot this car and I thought it was going to be great and the internet got really mad at me. Who cares what they think? Just you got to make yourself happy. It just hurt my feelings and they talked bad about it. Well, you know what helps hurting your feelings? What? A little bit of destruction, brother. What? Oh, you can't. They're going to get really mad. You got to try it. Just try a little bit. Don't you care what they think? No, you can't care what they think. You got to care what you think. Just got to be me. Just be you. Okay. All right. Give it a little, give it a little harder. That felt, that felt good. Oh. Come on, give it a... Okay. Okay. Ranch today, zero guns. <laughs> it's gonna be a crazy one. We're here with Nigel. What's up, dude? Hi, Dan. Hello, everybody. We also got chocolate operator over here. What's up? I just uh, chocolate says he thinks he can kick this armored door open. I said no, you can't. And if you do, I'll buy you nine tacos. So are you gonna try it? Let's do it. You can't do it. It it does just only to actually open it only has the regular suburban lock. It's not like an armored lock, and he does weigh a lot. He's a big old boy. Nigel, you think he can do it? He is a strong dude. He Nigel, you want to throw in some tacos as well? I'll throw another nine tacos. Oh, 18, 18 tacos. tacos. That's yeah. the biggest bet we've right. ever had. Let's get it. Okay, what do you got? Oh, you're knocking glass off. Okay. Dude, you might pop the whole glass panel out. <laughs> you think so? No, I don't think so, but it... No, the whole door's moving. Yeah, this ain't happening. Definitely not happening. <laughs> this thing is not even moving. It sounds like there's a T Rex trying to get out there. <laughs> so, deal's off. Okay. No tacos for you. Sorry, dude. So, in the last video, everyone got super mad that we're shooting this truck. Like, you know, it was made to be shot. Like, that's the whole, that's the purpose of it. And everyone's like, man, Matt's screwing over Frank, Premier Body Armor, because we're shooting it. We got Frank's permission. I called him and I said, what do you think about this? I have an idea. Frank was all in. So, uh, yeah, we decided to shoot it and I really did when we first got this truck I did plan on keeping it, but then every day when I walked past it in the barn I was like, but I want to know will it stop a bullet so to uh, to make you guys happy who are haters and who aren't happy about this We're gonna do one video One video where we are not shooting it anymore, but we are gonna just kind of have fun with it and uh, Nigel over here says he thinks he could ollie off the roof Stayed off the and roof. land it uh, maybe, hopefully. <laughs> He's like, I'll land. He has on no the faith ground. in me. <laughs> That's just, I, I have never seen anyone do something like this. I'm not a skater. I don't think anybody obviously. in the world has ever skated on an armored vehicle. That's actually probably true because they're expensive. They usually don't want skaters on top of them. But today we do. If you can do this, I'll do it. If I land this before. first try, can I get like a hug or something? No, I only give out tacos. Texas tacos, though, so he's from California. He doesn't know what Texas tacos are about. Because California tacos are better. <laughs> Leave in the comments below. Yeah, we'll give you a group hug. If you live, you get a hug. Oh, oh whoa! I definitely have to go faster than that. Whoa, must I'm go not... faster, must go faster. That was not bad at all. Was it not? So the roof is armored in this thing, but the top layer of the roof is just a regular suburban roof, and then there's an armor layer like an inch under it, so it still will dent as he's driving his board across it. Hey, you got it in the back door. That was cool. He's gonna die today. He's gonna die. Hey, chaos coordinator. Yeah. We have insurance yet? We're working on it. Okay, shoot. <laughs> this is not good. We're gonna ride it off. No pop. Nope. You're just gonna ride it. Okay. All the way out. All right. Oh. Even that would just that so hurt cool. me a lot. I gotta teach you how to fall. No. One day, next time I come out here, we're gonna have to skate the five ton. You're gonna get off the top Did of it. Do you not see all the bars on there? You can grind on that, go over that actually it. That's a pretty good idea. Yeah, yeah, I'm down. Grinding the five ton. We're like the nicest skaters ever. We're just using this parking lot. We got some glass in it. We're gonna sweep it up, clean it up. 
you know, making this planet a better place <laughs> one day at a time. Walked over to Monokima Firearms. You have something? I do, I have. Is it? Oh, I know what this is. Yeah, you see Dirty Harry. Yeah, I'm in. How much? I think that one runs 25. 25 hundo? Yes, sir. Yeah, sign me up. I'll buy it. Okay. <laughs> oh, we should shoot it at the car in this video. I know I said no guns, but maybe we should shoot that. Is it 44 Mag? It's, it's a different 44, 44 right? 44 AMP. What is a 44 AMP? Um, it's pretty rare. I have a few boxes of it. Perfect. We'll take them all. <laughs> I actually never show buying guns on video. So this is a special one for you guys. Oh, you have a few rounds? <laughs> what the? Got some jacket hollow Are points. these hard to find? You, yeah, you can probably still find them on like gun brokers. I should probably or something, buy them all though, huh? I'm not gonna tell you what to do. Yeah, the gun store owner's like, <laughs> yes, you should buy everything. <laughs> so it's like a not rimmed 44 mag. Rimmed. It looks taller though, huh? Or is it, is it? Probably a little bit more powder behind it. Cool. Yeah. And semi-auto. I'm freaking in. This thing's pretty cool though. Look at the. It's got freaking. Pretty much pull that back. Jeez. Oh, Crazy. Okay. Yeah, you talked me into it. You didn't try very hard, I just, <laughs> man. What else you got? <laughs> hey, do you still have that pump action AR? That is possibly the dumbest gun I've ever seen. It is, but it I'm is intrigued. Crazy. Look at this thing. Troy makes it. Why? You know, it'd be pretty cool if it was not pump and semi-auto, because then, <laughs> then it would actually kind of compete with the, the SIG and others alike, you yeah. know, with the piston-driven kind of style, but. Um, how much Interesting. Is it? You know, I think that uh, I think one hundred bucks. Yeah. I think they really kind of made it for certain um, states have to have yeah. you know, pump actions or uh, nothing that's a semi-auto. I think I'm a pat. You guys, let me know. <laughs> Maybe we'll come back for it. I don't know. It's just so dumb. Kind of like it. Hopefully Troy's not watching. <laughs> Sorry, Troy. <laughs> I mean, I, maybe there's a reason for it. I just don't know it. This is a gun for uh, JT. Uh, we made this for him. Uh, kind of wanted to do a black rifle theme on it. So we did a uh, coffee beans. Um, had a really cool integrated rail here made by Black Label. Um, the, the bipod folds right up in there. Side charging, 5.56. Five, so then, um, as you know, JT likes hot dogs, right? So, JT. Yeah. <laughs> so we made him a Lord him. hot dog gun. Uh, we got 13 hot dogs placed on here for the number that he ate in the zombie movie that he played in. He also is dropping a new hot dog company, I believe, this upcoming week or so, where he's going to be selling his own brand of hot dogs. I actually saw these and I was like, why would they paint hot dogs in the AR? This is going to be really hard to sell. All right, so would you sit in here while someone shoots at you? I'll do it for 20 bucks. <laughs> 20 bucks is 20 bucks. Yeah, I think I would. I don't think I would. Really? Nah, too scared. I know it'll stop it. I bet a million bucks it wouldn't, it wouldn't go through. The question is, would insurance cover it if it no, didn't stop they'd it? they'd be like, you dumb, dumb idiot redneck. It'd be great content on YouTube. They'd let you, like... <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Nigel really wants to grind any of these rails on the five ton. Mainly this one now. But, but you need to build something to do that first, right? A huge ramp. We're so next ramp. time he comes out, he wants to build a ramp and grind the five ton. Which I was thinking, I'll be sitting in it and I'll be giving it some gas and just plumes of black smoke and he just jumps through the smoke. It'd be sick. If I can get enough speed on a big ramp, go over the whole thing. And then he lands at the altar and then we get married. <laughs> Women always think about getting married. That's all they think about. We're just trying to do cool tricks on a skateboard on a cool truck. So I was thinking, I know I promised you guys no guns in this video because a lot of you guys got really mad about us shooting guns at the Suburban. But then we bought a new gun today and like, what else are we gonna do? So I'm just gonna go back on that promise a little bit. So the guys that are mad, I'm sorry. I was really trying to not hurt the Suburban anymore. It would just shoot a little bit of guns, just, just a little bit and that's it. And I won't even do it, it's gonna be Nigel's fault. Got my. New electronic earmuffs on, thanks Caldwell. I'm not gonna actually shoot this thing because I wanna make a whole nother video. So this is all you today. I've obviously never shot this or anyone like this. I've never shot this caliber. You have to pull oh my. super hard. Oh my, all right. <laughs> put, let me, let me put, here, cock it first, cock it first, make it a little easier. Oh, there we go. Oh, that was, oh, yeah, that was way easier. Oh, uh, jammed on the first one. Yep. Yep, fully. Let me see, let me see. I'm gonna. I think it's not. Yeah, you shouldn't go back far enough. Oh, okay. okay. So I was being a little weenie about it. That's ready to shoot. Hold on tight. This thing's gonna be crazy. Think I like how he buys a new gun and I'm the first one to shoot it. There is a safety. I got no idea. I got no idea. Just, just pull it through. Let's see what happens. 
right. All right, uh, the infamous firing. You definitely hit high. I saw it hit. All right, well, that was God, like that center was mass loud. on the window. Oh, oh yeah, that was a window. All okay. window, nice. Jeez, all right, this thing's got a little... Jeez, does that hurt? Uh, it, the, the metal frame doesn't feel it's good. It's so heavy, yeah. though. Um, let's go back panel you got to the left of that slug. All right, you got two bolts left. All right. Oh, oh flinch! Was there a jam? Go ahead and empty it. Oh, there's another one in there. Okay, so that's empty. Let's see how the safety works. <laughs> oh, that's safe. Oh, you gotta push up. Okay, so I don't know. Let's just try. That was uh, that was that. weird. That was weird. Slow squeeze. Oh yeah, nice back glass. Is that back glass? Yep. I went a little too high. Woo! Is that the panel? No. You're out. Okay. How did it feel? It, big kicks, like. I don't know if you can feel it right now, but I can see it. You look manlier than you did before. I feel way man. I think yeah. my beard might have started filling in yeah. a little more. Oh my gosh, look at, oh yeah, he's definitely, there's testosterone Dude. pumping right now, oh you can tell. Gosh. Oh, look at that. So I saw you hit that one high. So you started taking out some of that glass, but the way this car is set up, the edges of the glass, they have metal that comes down like here. So that thing's still not going through, I bet. We'll go look on the inside. That's a hole, that's a new hole there. So that was a 44 going through there. Um, and then I saw you, you hit- the back glass at some point. Some yeah, movies. you hit the back glass and you hit this glass down low too. And then I think they saw one go through here. So I think one went just, oh, I bet that's it right there. I bet you just skimmed it. I know that would hit there, I don't know. But they saw dirt fly up on the other side, so I think he went through this way. So this is new, we were driving around, so all this, all the glass had fallen down on the parts where we had already shot, but this one has got all loose glass here. So that was a 44 hit right there, because all that would have already fallen down while we drove around town earlier. Sweet, let's go inside. Up high is where he hit, there's nothing up there. And then in the middle is where he hit, there's nothing on any of the inner layers here. No cracks, same thing there. We're good, no cracks on the inside layer. Right, Nigel's heading out. Thank you for sort of destroying the car a little Thank bit. You. I and uh, I didn't want I didn't want him to, so don't get mad at me this time. It was him. I wanted to. If it was my choice, I'd probably send it. I don't know if y'all heard when he, when he was about to shoot, I was like, no, stop. But he just did it, so I tried. <laughs> Testosterone, man, it took over. <laughs> I don't know. All right, we got more stuff coming with this car. See you, dude. I thought for the next part of this video, we won't shoot it anymore. No, you guys are freaking out too much. So we'll do a tug of war. That's my dog. Uh, this is Adam, AKA Chocolate Operator. You've probably seen him on Donut Operator's channel. Uh, Adam will be driving Earl, my Dodge 2500 Cummins. And uh, we're gonna do a tug of war against this. Now, Earl weighs about 7,000 pounds. This weighs about 12,000 pounds. So I just wanted to see, that weight will help. I think the Suburban is going to win. Chocolate, what do you think? Whatever car I'm driving is going to win <laughs> automatically. <laughs> no, I think, I think it's going to win. We're going to do two-wheel drive first. These are both four-wheel drive vehicles. But we're going to do two-wheel drive first, do a little dirt tug-of-war, and see what happens. Giddy up. Suburban emerges victorious. So at first it was kind of a stalemate. We were kind of both not really going anywhere. It's because the Suburban wouldn't like rev up enough. And I finally popped it down into one and held the brakes for a second and got the engine up. And then I let it go. Drug you all over the place. That was two wheel though. Let's do four wheel. See what's up. All right, four wheel drive coming up now. Chocolate will have an advantage here because Earl has lockers in the front. So he is going to be locked up much better than me. But I have 12,000 pounds. <laughs> Suburban winning again. One of our trucks is smelling very bad. I, <laughs> I don't know if it's Earl's tires because they were going crazy or this one's like transmission because that transmission not made to pull a diesel truck. Uh, but it's so heavy, it's working. All right, we need a heavier truck 
with more traction. Next up, we've got the Ford F350. It's a diesel, very heavy, and it's a dually. So this one's like a thousand pounds heavier than the Dodge we had, which helps. And it has an extra wheel on the back. We're gonna go both in four wheel drive, which this one has six wheels, so this one's basically in six wheel drive. What do you think? I'm gonna win. Psh, definitely. Yeah, right, it's suburban all the way, all day. We're going four wheel drive on both vehicles here. So we'll see how it goes. <laughs> Just destroyed my truck. <laughs> One thing we did not mention is this truck has uh, just highway tires on it. I haven't put any off-road tires. That Suburban's got some nice BF Goodrich off-road tires. So I guess we're gonna have to get something bigger. This Suburban's a freaking beast! But I, I have another car that's more of a beast. ton it weighs 20,000 pounds very heavy we're gonna actually put it in two-wheel drive first because I think it will beat the Suburban when this is in two-wheel drive and the Suburban is in four-wheel drive but time will tell Suburban in four-wheel drive versus five ton in two-wheel drive <laughs> I'm in four. <laughs> oh, you got me big time. <laughs> okay, looks like when it's an even match, it is not even and the 510 will kill this heavy Suburban. Once the coal started rolling in that 8.3 liter Cummins turbo diesel, my Suburban was no match. The torque took over those wheels and it just drugged me. I couldn't do anything. So, we've made a video today where we did not destroy that Suburban anymore. You're welcome, internet. Like, we barely... Thanks for watching Demolition Ranch! I love you! And I'll see you next time. It's quite simple. There's only one rule in the demolition. You don't tell Mayor. Hey, man. Hey. What, why, why that sad face? Like, what's wrong? I'm just sad because, like, I shot this thing and I thought it was going to be really cool and now there's a dog here. <laughs> <laughs>